your story arc can change if you'll listen to what I'm saying tonight and do it. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with Him by saying words. Many people have never heard that statement before, but it's being heard more and more. It's new to many ears because it doesn't quite fit into the things that they've been taught in the past. But it's the truth. The Holy Ghost, He is God in the earth today. And he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth. Tonight, I'm going to ask you to walk through a door with me. A door that is titled Holy Ghost Worship. I'm talking about you opening up your mouth and saying these words, I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost. If you do that, you do that regularly you will enter in through a door that opens to you as if it were an ark that will carry you in this last day to places that you couldn't go before if you will enter all the way through that door i'm telling you it's different on the other side it's not the same this glory is different it's night and day different if you enter in through that door worshiping the holy ghost you will enter into a new timeline it's a timeline you wouldn't have been in until you began worshiping him i can look back on my timeline and see where it began to change things began to change we worship him first and then expect change do you know what i mean when i say a story arc and because we can talk about an arc noah and the ark and he built the ark but he himself would have a story arc a story arc is when you take a particular character have you ever watched tv yeah, i see somebody out there they watched they watched some tv well you have characters on the shows and then that person they write it in they write their story arc a story arc a very common one would be uh rags to riches right that's the story arc that character went from rags right. to riches right. well we see even noah himself had a story arc yeah. right god began to speak with him the bible says noah walked with god it had to be the spirit of god he was walking with right and then he built the ark and we know what happened he ended up saving mankind because he entered into something other people wouldn't does this make sense yeah. So characters on your favorite TV show would have a story arc. Your story arc can change if you'll listen to what I'm saying tonight and do it. Sometimes characters, their story arc writes them off the show for a season. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't you hate that? Especially if it's your favorite character. They write them off the show for the season. They're not there that season. You're like, huh? <laughs> I don't even know if I want to watch it anymore but then they bring them back the next season and you're like that's good right, right. and so sometimes that same character they wrote off for a season because they had to develop somebody else say they had to develop somebody else so they wrote that character off for a bit and then that character returned say that character, that character. returned Return. And you're like, yeah, this is the show I remember. Yeah. It was weird there for a little bit. Many times it's necessary for the plot development. Yes. So tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about Jesus' life and ministry had a story arc. Yeah. Can you give me that? Amen. He came into the earth, born of a virgin, ministered for three years, and then bore our sins on the cross, right? was crucified rose again on the third day we all know the story arc yes. and then there's more to it i'll get into that in a minute but that was his story arc and frankly that's pretty much the main portion of the story arc that people uh, like to preach on yeah. right but it, there's more to his story than that more. remember and then he ascended into heaven sat at the right hand of the father and then 
it seems like they removed him for a season and then at the end of the season he returns say he returns. he returns see now everybody wants Jesus and talk about Jesus return but they don't want him to go away you can't return if you didn't go away That's right. I went away for a little while now I'm back Jesus life and ministry was to get you into a relationship with the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today it wasn't just so you could die and go to heaven talk about a lame story arc Jesus's ministry was to get you into a relationship personal relationship with the Living God who's the Holy Ghost hallelujah. who's God in the earth today you can walk with him yes, hallelujah. so Jesus's story arc his life you get this story arc you understand what I'm talking about his story arc what he did was to get you into a personal vital relationship with the Holy Ghost who is the Living God Amen. and shall return Matthew chapter 3 and verse 11 this is John the Baptist preaching here John the Baptist said I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance but he that comes after me is mightier than I who came after John the Baptist Jesus right he was pro he was a prophet John the Baptist was a prophet he was prophesying that I'm here baptizing you with water but somebody's gonna come after me he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and fire so John the Baptist laid it out I, I find this fascinating that he at the end towards the end of his ministry was able to encapsulate his entire ministry and Jesus is in one short sentence come on, come on. that's profound how many of you know what I'm talking about yeah. it takes a while it takes some ministry experience and maturity to be able to do that right, right. but he said one who comes after me is mightier than I he the one that comes after him shall he shall baptize you or fully immerse you or fully engage you into the Holy Ghost come on, come on. Jesus is ministry in a nutshell John the Baptist ministry he came and prepared the way for Jesus Come on, yeah, yeah. and then Jesus came and prepared the way what? for the Holy Ghost who yes. is the Living God which was God's plan all the time Hallelujah. from the beginning of time he wanted to walk with man in the earth again yes and you want to somehow religiously reject all of that knock it off this is where we're at that's right we are in the earth the Holy Ghost is in the earth quit ignoring him and walk with him he's God Hallelujah. in fact he said in John 16 7 this is Jesus red letters nevertheless I tell you the truth it is expedient it means it's gotta happen and it's profitable for you if I go away yeah. Yeah. who go away Jesus go away it's profitable that Jesus went away why for if I go not away the comforter will not come to you he won't do it he's like nope nope you got to clean them up first and that's what Jesus did yep. paid for your sins cleaned you all up on the inside so he had a nice clean house to move into come on. Yep. Holy Ghost God he said if I don't depart he won't come well he came so he must have departed right. John 14 and then verse 16 says and I will pray the father after he departs he will pray the father and he will give you another comforter Amen. Amen. that he would abide with you forever yeah. Yeah. most people read this oh I'll pray the father and he'll send me back in the form of another comforter knock it off no Jesus departed is at the right hand of the Father and sent another say another, another. you know what another means another. not the other one Correct. different than the one that was there another. right yeah. it's a, it means it's just plain English it's another right. not the same one Correct. the another is not Jesus the another that Jesus sent is not Jesus 
the another that Jesus sent is the Holy Ghost and he's the one that's with us and you to this very day get over it yeah. see you're missing your story arc if you try to if you try to convolute this in some kind of weird religious thing right. you're gonna miss it right. you're gonna miss it stop missing it mm -hmm. the church has been missing it yeah. Yeah. This is, these are the words of Jesus I'm not making this up I wish I did but you know I didn't <laughs> People would say, you know, they accuse me of things. I've been accused of things. You ever been accused of something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, get used to it. Okay. They say, oh, you don't talk about Jesus enough. I'm literally talking about Jesus and what he said and what he did right now. How is that not something he did? That was part of his story arc. Come on. Yeah. Him leaving. Yes. Him sending another. Yeah. John chapter 7 verse 39 but this spake he he who he Jesus this spake Jesus of the Spirit which they that believe on him should receive for the Holy Ghost was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified who said that Jesus in his ministry was preaching about the Holy Ghost remember John the Baptist came to prepare the way of Jesus and Jesus came to prepare the way of the Holy Ghost the another whom he sent from the Father who's with us this very day yes, yes. get it straight it's not that difficult Amen. if I sound like I'm yelling at you that's cuz I'm yelling at you <laughs> <laughs> Jesus never said I will never leave you or forsake you he said I will not leave you comfortless come on, come on. huge difference yeah. because the other time he was saying I will you leave you I'm gonna leave you man the disciples were worried about it when he started talking that language like huh, what do you mean no, no, relax I have to go away but I will send another yeah. well he did he did Jesus left and he did send another to be with you Amen. straight up gospel here Acts chapter 1 let's just read from verse 1 it's of all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day in which he was taken up after he had through the Holy Ghost given commandments unto the disciples the Apostles whom he had chosen verse 3 to whom also he showed himself alive after his passion with many infallible proofs being with them 40 days now mind you here this is Jesus raised from the dead literally the last words that while he's on earth he's speaking to these people wait for the promise of the Father which you have heard of me because he was always talking about the Holy Ghost and the another that was going to come we read those words Jesus his last message to people was don't go anywhere until the Holy Ghost comes that's right. That's right. if you do you're not obeying his commandment that's right. you could say that was the last commandment that he gave them yeah. Yeah. verse 5 for John truly baptized with water but you shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost not many days hence literally the same exact thing that John the Baptist was saying come on, come on. Jesus repeated it right before he left Jesus's ministry wasn't so you could die and go to heaven if you do die you will go to heaven if you believed on him I'm not saying that but that wasn't the thrust of his ministry otherwise he would have said that would he not have come on yeah. verse 8 you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost comes on you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and under the uttermost parts of the earth is this in Jesus' story arc yes his last message his last recorded words were that you would receive the Holy Ghost so back off you religious people verse 9 I'm not done yet this is part of Jesus's story arc and when he had spoken these things do you remember the things that he was talking about 
the Holy Ghost while they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight physically say physically, physically. he went up in front of all the disciples they were standing there and there he goes up into a cloud and was gone why do you think he did it so dramatically and so obviously physically right in front of them so they wouldn't mess it up and you know what they did they messed, they messed it up and verse 10 and while they looked while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which said you men of galilee why stand you gazing up into heaven this same Jesus say this same Jesus this, same Jesus. this is the real Jesus. the real Jesus this same Jesus which was taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven has that happened yet no, no. so how is Jesus gonna come when Jesus comes he's gonna come scripturally and so there's Jesus he literally left them he said don't go anywhere just stay here stop it don't don't just stay here and I will send the Holy Ghost but he left them can you see that am I making it up did Jesus the real Jesus this same Jesus leave them yes now if the disciples at that moment turned to each other and went hey you know what's great Jesus is with me he's in my heart right after this there was not some big swooshing sound and all the disciples looked at each other and said yes Jesus is now in my heart no Jesus literally physically intentionally left them to make a point had to if he didn't what do we know what have we read Holy Ghost wouldn't come That's right. not going there not gonna do it yeah. that goes over big so he did leave did Jesus leave and then we can see that on the day of Pentecost if you go over because some of them did wait 120 did 500 of 500 of, and plus saw him raised from the dead and only 120 stayed around to uh, receive the Holy Ghost Acts chapter 2 verse 1 you there when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind so here's the mighty wind came right. guess who's coming the Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost came the person of the Holy Ghost came a rushing mighty wind it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as a fire sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance but the point is they were filled with the Holy Ghost they weren't filled with Jesus that's right, that's right. Jesus said he'd send another that's right. now who is with the disciples now the 120 Holy the Holy Ghost who's God in the earth today that's right. Come on. if Jesus was still there he wouldn't have come that's right. but because he's not there he sent another so here we have the day of Pentecost the beginning of the Holy Ghost dispensation the beginning of the Holy Ghost the person of the Holy Ghost story arc so to speak Jesus finished his main story arc by sitting at the Father's right hand he shall return don't worry about it in a future season he will come back right yeah but right now the beginning of the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today the day that you're in and he entered listen he entered with full dispensational authority Hallelujah. Yes. people want to you know talk about him as if he's some kind of third-class act no you go through you look at what Je Jesus was framing it up framing it up so that when you receive the Holy Ghost you receive him for who he is yes, yes. He's God so Jesus has not yet returned are you here can you give me that is he out in the kitchen 
is he out there Jesus no he's not out there no. he's not in here and Jesus even warned him he said don't go here and go there he's not there Jesus has not yet returned you want to get kicked out of a lot of churches like I did tell them that Jesus is not here but if he's there then he can't return if he's there then he did not send the another right. he's not here I'm telling you it, it is it's hard it's a, it's a hard thing for believers to get a grasp on it was a hard thing for me to get a grasp on yeah, yeah. I liked having Jesus in my heart mm, come on. You, you get your head wrapped around that it's great I, I, he's, he's great you know but he sent the Holy Ghost who is another so at some point I'm doing this at some point you got to let him go yeah. Yeah. right just let him go. let him go he's coming back yeah. he's coming back in the future season but I'm telling you I'm gonna show you a couple of scriptures here that until you let him go he can't come back until you let him go we can't fulfill what we're called to fulfill oh, in this day which is the Holy Ghost dispensation yes yes your story arc is in the Holy Ghost dispensation Amen. you want to have your story arc in some other dispensation boo boo it's not gonna work come on that'll also get you kicked out of churches yes, it will. it's just no boo <laughs> so the Holy Ghost who is God I worship you Holy Ghost is here yes. in the earth in his full dispensational authority meaning he can do whatever he wants to do oh you mean he's in a disagreement with the father and Jesus no no they act in unison but he's the only one here now come on, come on. Amen. get it straight yeah. say I got it straight I got it straight you know when you get it straight your language changes yeah. You start thinking, oh wait, I can't say that the way I used to say it. I gotta say it this way. Yeah. You know why? Because it pleases the Holy Ghost, Amen. who's God in the earth today, yeah. who you walk around with. Come on, come on. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 12. First Corinthians chapter 12. You know, we're talking about all the gifts of the Spirit. Look at look at verse 1. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I would not have you ignorant. That literally means things pertaining to the Spirit. I don't want you ignorant of all these things say things, things pertaining to the spirit so these are things pertaining to the spirit yep. right and he goes on he goes on he goes on about his administration and all of the the operations and what he does yes. first Corinthians chapter 12 verse 11 but all these worketh that one and self same spirit yes. who does all the workings in the earth today the Holy, the Holy Ghost all these worketh that one and self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he wills right. he has a will he's a person he has full dispensational authority that's my point mm -hmm. verse 6 there are diversities of operations but it is the same God that works all in all who's the same God it's the Holy Ghost if it's done in the earth it's done through him yes. second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 17 now say now. now when's now right now now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty a kind of liberty you couldn't have if the spirit wasn't Lord that's his full dispensational authority and if you read this I like to look up words you know in the Greek and he says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit Lord is say where the spirit Lord is, the spirit Lord is. who is the, the who's the spirit Lord Holy, Holy, Ghost. Holy Ghost the word spirit Lord or that phrase or that name is not heard in 99.9% .9 of the churches they don't know him as the Spirit Lord you need to use that term you need to use that name it's appropriate for him he's the Spirit Lord yes. and when you say it you know what you're talking about amen, amen. where the Spirit Lord is there is Liberty but verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as a glass 
the glory of the spirit lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even by the spirit of the lord or this it's the same thing the spirit lord we're changed from glory to glory by the spirit lord or the lordship of the spirit yes. say that the lordship of the spirit the lordship of the spirit that's hard for a lot of people to say because they got their head wrapped somewhere else say the lordship of the spirit the lordship of the spirit Guess what you get to do when you start to say the Lordship of the Spirit? You go from one glory to the next glory. Come on. He has full dispensational authority. But where does this leave us? After all of this, after all of this stuff I've said, where does this leave us? It's just you and the Holy Ghost yes. as God in the earth today. Come on. Walking with Him. You know who else used this word, Spirit Lord? jesus That's right. he said the spirit lord literally the same phrase the spirit lord is on me because he has anointed me Ooh, he the spirit lord anointed me to preach That's right. come on. jesus walked around with the spirit lord oh, come on, yeah. you walk around with the spirit lord yes yes get it straight that's your story arc. you're in the midst of your story arc it's you and the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and you're walking with him and then if we do this right say if we do this right, if, do it right. if you don't do it right you don't get the result but if you do it right Jesus will return Ooh, yeah. if you don't do it right it's nope. just gonna take a long time you're going yeah. be going another round in the desert again the wilderness one more time That's until right. you all die off come on you're gonna die <laughs> Now hang on, I got even a better one. How could I have a better one than that? Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore, always good, oh, yeah. and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Say the times of refreshing, times of refreshing. come from the, from the presence of the Lord. You all right with that? and he shall send jesus the times of refreshing come from the presence of the lord and he the lord shall send jesus are you getting this yeah, hallelujah. the presence of the lord who the spirit lord the holy ghost the holy ghost are you getting it yeah. who was present holy ghost and it's a free it's refreshing isn't it yes. Amen. Amen. he yes. will send uh, jesus hallelujah. if you get it straight yes come on verse 21 i don't know if you can handle this whom the heaven must receive talking about jesus whom the heaven must receive and the and the the word literally other translations say and retain the heaven must receive and hold on to retain Jesus until the times of the restitution of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all the holy prophets since the world began we have to fulfill it all that's right that's right wrap your head around that it's you and the Holy Ghost. We get it done or we don't get it done because Jesus is retained. Right. He's on retainer in heaven oh. until the fulfillment of all things that are written. Wow. That's your story arc. Oh, yes. Grab onto it. It's Hallelujah. great. Hallelujah. Jesus is not here. You got that? Jesus is not here. How many scriptures do I have to read that explain that to you? Jesus is not here. The Holy Ghost is here yes, yes. and if we fulfill what the Holy Ghost wants us to do we get it straight we work it out right we treat him as God because that's who he is yes. in full dispensational authority then Jesus will return Hallelujah. our main job here in this dispensation in our story arc is to fulfill everything the holy ghost wants us to fulfill yes. and the only way we're going to do that is to receive him as god you think you're going to be able to fulfill all the things the scriptures have said we're supposed to fulfill without you walking with god yeah. 
first corinthians chapter 6 and then verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of jesus did i say no no the holy ghost your body is the temple of the holy ghost which is in you therefore glorify god in your body who's the god in your body the holy ghost, the holy ghost is the god who's in your body this verse says you are to glorify him worship him Amen. as a temple of god Amen. what god the holy ghost he's god see that's the other point he's god and he's in the earth as a temple of god you are to glorify him now any temple that's worth its salt go to any temple what is the job of that temple is for the worship of the god that is in that temple in this case listen your number one job in your story arc in the earth is to worship the god that's in the temple his name is the holy ghost use the words i worship you holy ghost i am telling you when you do that you enter in through a door and the story arc for you begins yes. you thought you were doing something before I thought I was doing something before oh. but until I came through this door and I said I worship you Holy Ghost you are God in the earth today my storyline my story arc didn't even start until that point are you here, here. here. this hastens the day yes. because we fully received Remember, Jesus said he will baptize you into the Holy Ghost. I mean, baptize fully immersed all the way. Say all the way. All the way. All the way in. I'm all the way in. I'm all the way in. I worship you, Holy Ghost. Nothing else says I'm all the way in than saying, I worship you, Holy Ghost. You are God in the earth today. I worship you. Take that, Holy Ghost. Take some worship from me. I worship you, Holy Ghost. yeah he'll he'll come he'll put him he'll put his finger on you and put his finger on your house yes i'm telling you your story arc begins yes. at that moment Hallelujah. this hastens the day this prepares the way this opens the door of an ark so to speak that you can enter in we are to fulfill all that was spoken who spoke it by the way we know this I don't have time to go into it holy, holy men of old spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost that we are now in the earth to fulfill all the things that the Holy Ghost has spoken and it's a lot and we go from glory to glory with him are you here we're glorifying him by worshiping him and he takes us from one glory to the next glory to the next glory to the next glory Haggai chapter 2 verse 9 says the glory of this latter house will be greater yes. say the glory, the glory of this latter house will be greater than the former are you here how's that because he's in you he's with you and you are saying that that's one of the things he said yes, is it not it is. it's one of the things that we must fulfill yes. is to walk in that greater glory Hallelujah. yes, yes. Hallelujah. the glory of this latter house will be greater say it the glory, the glory of, of this, this latter house will be greater the glory of this latter house will be greater Hallelujah. without worshiping him you won't get there Listen to me, listen to this preacher. Been around the block a few times. Without worshiping him, you won't get there. Without worshiping him, the Holy Ghost, you won't get there. You're like, you're shaking your phone. Is this thing stuck? He keeps saying the same thing. Without worshiping him, the Holy Ghost, you won't get there. Use these words. I worship you, Holy Ghost. I worship you, Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. 
if you begin to do this if you begin to use those words regularly it will begin to change everything it'll change your mind you'll get a brand new Bible I have people write to me online they're like what happened to me everything looks differently everything is different when you go to the next level of glory that which was good one time is no longer acceptable to you everything changes on this side of Holy Ghost worship you become a Holy Ghost worshiper it's something you weren't before you know how many times I get people to begin worshiping the Holy Ghost they become a Holy Ghost worshiper something they weren't before they've entered into a new space they've entered into a new timeline they've entered into a new story arc and frankly this is the story arc your reality becomes different walking with him your speech becomes different walking with him your actions and your thinking becomes different walking with him Holy Ghost only the God in the earth today the one Jesus sent you begin to fulfill your station in life get that straight you begin to fulfill your station in life what's your station I'm a temple of the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost God in the earth today yeah. I've embraced that by worshiping him yeah. I am now fulfilling Hallelujah. my station in life yes. and it's much better Come on. it's like day and night yeah. better yeah. Yeah. and I can tell if you're there or not others who worship the Holy Ghost regularly can tell whether you're there or not by the things you say Come on. and it's not that things you aren't saying aren't good they probably are they're just not here say they're just not here, just not here. and you want to shake people but you, it's not allowed very often to just shake them yeah. but I'm telling you this is not where I used to be can you tell that look at me this is not where I used to be this is not the message I used to preach I've preached all the other stuff this is the story arc that we have entered into listen and if you embrace the Holy Ghost as God and acknowledge him by worshiping him he will begin to take notice of you and he will see that you're someone that he can rely on someone that he can give words to someone that he can promote because promotion comes not from the east or the west promotion comes from the Lord the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost who is God in the earth today and he loves it when you worship him this is day and night better Matthew chapter 24 37 says as in the days of Noah so shall the coming of the Son of Man be you know and he gives some illustrations there that they'll be eating and drinking and giving in marriage and you know all the things that worldly people do God bless them but if you look at the days of Noah Noah walked with God Noah walked with God and he entered into an ark built out of wood we walk with God in our day and we enter into an ark built out of words Come on his word spoken out your mouth become the ark you enter into and this ark that we get into by worshiping the Lord of Spirits the Spirit Lord takes us from one level to the next level from one glory to the next level of glory I guarantee you prove it the Holy Ghost is God prove it worship him Isaiah 46 verse 10 says God speaks the end from the beginning so we will look an awful lot like we did at the beginning yeah, yeah. Noah walked with God the Spirit God Enoch walked with God the Spirit God and was not for God took him Adam walked with God the Spirit God That's right. in the cool of the day yes. this is cool. Totally cool say this is cool this is cool Adam walked with God Enoch walked with God we are not in the beginning we're at the end 
god speaks the end from the beginning we walk with the spirit god in the earth today we are the end say we are the end, we are the end. and it doesn't end until we do what we need to do Come on. Yes. thou shalt worship the lord thy god and him only shalt thou serve let me pray for you holy ghost i thank you that these people have heard your word this evening they have been changed they have been infected with a message that will take them places they could not go without it things will begin to change says the spirit lord as you worship him acknowledge him as god let him know that you worship him and serve him and watch and see the great things that the spirit lord does for you in your life in jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost you are god in the earth today you multiply my tithes and offerings you cause me to walk in the wealth that is yours in the earth the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former in jesus name amen in heaven Jesus at his right